Hi Comedia of Awesome, I'm Ava J and this is Bookish Pixie. So incredibly, I've managed to make 94 vlogs about writing and publishing without once talking about dialogue. I'm not totally sure how that happened, but I guess I'll fix that right now. Dialogue can often make or break a manuscript, and oftentimes when I notice it in an unpublished work, it's because it's broken. So today I want to talk about five dialogue don'ts so that you can hopefully avoid these common mistakes. One, don't let your characters ramble. In real life, people ramble about nothing important all the time. However, dialogue in fiction should not always look like real life. What I mean by this is in fiction, dialogue always needs to have a purpose. Dialogue is an action and your character shouldn't be spouting off words just to fill the space. When you're writing, every sentence needs to have a purpose and dialogue isn't an exception. So don't let your characters ramble endlessly without purpose. Two, don't fall into the trap of as you know Bob. Many of you are probably wondering what I mean by as you know Bob. The as you know Bob is a phrase writers use to refer to dialogue that conveys really obvious information that the characters would have no logical reason for talking about. So for example, a character wouldn't logically say, the other day I was at school because as you know I'm a junior in college and I'm studying astrophysics and I'm going to be a famous astrophysicist someday. Or, that's right and don't you have all straight A's even though that one professor totally has it out for you. Point is, dialogue is not the place to convey really obvious information that the characters ordinarily would not be talking about. Because I promise you, your readers will totally see through it. Three, don't constantly mention characters' names. Conversations do not go like this. Hi Mary. Hi Sue. How are you doing today, Mary? I'm doing wonderfully, Sue. Today's turning out to be a great day. That's great to hear, Mary. I'm so relieved. Thank you, Sue. It's great to see you, Sue. People don't talk like that, and yet I see it in dialogue a lot. Don't mention the characters' names all the time. Four, don't avoid said. There's some bad writing advice that's been going around forever that basically says that writers should avoid using said. Don't listen to it. Said is an invisible word, but any other dialogue tag is going to be noticed by your readers. Now that doesn't mean that you should never use dialogue tags or that you shouldn't occasionally use action tags instead but don't go out of your way to find creative words that are not said. Pontificated, uttered, communicated, whatever, they're going to be noticed, said will not, you said. And ultimately, you usually want the dialogue tag to be as silent as possible because the focus should be on the dialogue itself. Unless, of course, the body language is important, in which case you're probably going to want to use action tags. But the point is, don't be afraid to use said. And five, don't needlessly omit contractions. I see this most often in unpublished fantasy works, but it can creep into a lot of other genres too. I don't know if this is just from years of school and professors telling people not to use contractions, but when you're writing dialogue, you want to use contractions. The reason being, people speak with contractions all the time. For example, which sounds most natural? I'm sorry, I don't think I can go to the party today. Or, I am sorry, I do not think I can go to the party today. I don't think I need to explain which sounded more natural. I know which one was easier to say. I want to emphasize that this also applies to fantasy works, even if your fantasy has a medieval flair to it. While you're obviously going to use less contractions if your characters are speaking formally, omitting them altogether is basically a guaranteed way to make your characters sound robotic and stilted. So when you're writing dialogue, don't omit contractions completely. You need them. So that's all I got for today. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and comment, and I'll see you guys not next week because I will be at a conference and visiting schools and bookstores and such, but the week after. Bye.